Hi Bagaholics! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Anastasia. I'm a luxury bag lover, collector. I authenticate bags, I collect bags, I sell bags. You can check out the link below if you're interested. Now in this video we are going to discuss Louis Vuitton shoulder bags made from canvas. And what I wanted to share is my top five uh, shoulder bags from Louis Vuitton that you can buy under 1200. Now what's important here is we are only going to talk about pre-loved bags first and this uh, price level is set for pre-loved bags and the second thing most of the bags that you will be seeing are discontinued so you can only find them pre-loved which doesn't make them bad right let's start <laughs> Now let's start from a Neverfull MM and I know you're not surprised because it's the most iconic and well renowned uh, Louis Vuitton uh, shoulder handbag. However, the problem with a Neverfull is that it's too common. Like everybody has it. If you go out on the streets to the shopping malls, you will always see a Louis Vuitton bag and that will probably be a Neverfull. Um, and for me, well, I love unique bags and for me it's quite hard to accept the fact that I wear the same bag as everyone. So I prefer something more unique, something more usable. However, from the comfort um, standpoint, Neverfull is one of the best bags I've ever had. And I've, I've never thought I will be saying this because when I saw it on people, um, last year and well the, the, the years before, I always thought that the straps are too thin, they're not comfortable um, and the bag looks kind of kind of strange to me. Well that's what I felt at, the, at that moment. However, when I got it in stock, I, I, I planned to resell it, but uh, eventually I ended up leaving this bag to myself because it's too comfortable, uh, it's great for every day, it fits in my notebook and that's one of the most important things for me. So I left it to myself and that's, well, exactly one of the best Louis Vuitton shoulder bags ever. If you're buying an Everfull from a Louis Vuitton store, then um, depending on the size, it will cost you over a thousand dollars, I guess a thousand and a three hundred, four hundred, four hundred. Um, but if you're buying pre-loved, however, you can find this beauty for as, as low as six hundred or seven hundred and it will be pretty much in the same condition. It will probably have some light stains inside or just uh, darker patina, but well, this bag will look exactly the same after you use it for several years. And uh, it's a good investment because everyone needs a Neverfull. Everyone wants a Neverfull. And I've been asked if I have a um, Neverfull MM in stock in monogram canvas. And uh, I, I kind of have it, but I'm leaving it to myself. Moving on next, here's a Trevi PM, a beautiful shoulder bag made from uh, Damier event canvas. This bag is also discontinued and you cannot find it in stores. However, it's it's still a very, very beautiful, very stylish handbag. It's released in two sizes, PM and GM. And uh, you can pick up the size that uh, suits your needs. Uh, GM is, well, larger, of course, and it will fit uh, documents, notebook, everything you need for work. This Trevi PM is a great medium-sized bag, whatever you need to carry with you every day. Um, you can use this uh, handbag and it will look beautiful. If you're buying this bag pre-loved, it will cost you less than 1000 that's for sure. Now you can find a pre-loved Trevi PM for less than 1000 well, if it's not overpriced, uh, well, search for one less than 1000 And Trevi GM, well, it's about the same, well, at least it less, it's less than uh, 1200 And uh, if you're buying this beauty, I just want you to check one very important thing. Uh, check before before paying or before agreeing to the sale, check this area in the center of the bag and this area on the back of the bag uh, because it's very important. Um, sometimes these bags, both uh, Trevi PM and GM, get the, the, they are stored incorrectly and because of that there is a small crack here. Most sellers won't see it until you ask them to show it to you, uh, exactly this area, right? 
And uh, if you're buying a Trevi GM, I just want you to check one more thing, which is this side folded canvas. So because the bag is bigger, it's folded in a different way and uh, the canvas folds differently and there may be a crack too, uh, because that might be uh, very important for you guys. And well, but actually that's the only wear, that's the only issue this bag might have because it's a, it's a beautiful handbag and I'm a Damier evangelist uh, because uh, it's, it's carefree, it's not afraid of rain, snow, any type of weather, and it's not afraid of the sun either. And uh, that's a uh, beautiful and very comfortable handbag. You can adjust the strap the way you need here. You can also attach a different strap if this, this one doesn't work for you um, easily. So it's up to you which strap to use here. Now moving on to the next handbag and that's a Pala MM. Pala MM is one of my favorite Louis Vuitton handbags. It's very comfortable on the shoulder. It's a perfect size for me. Not big, not small, just the right size of an everyday handbag. And you can find it in a variety of colors. There are too many colors. You can also find one that doesn't have Vachetta uh, handles here. When it comes to price, you have to search for a good deal on this handbag because uh, you can find one um, at a price of uh, 1,200, 400, 600, like they're all priced very differently depending on condition. But I assure you that you can find this handbag for under 1,200 and you will be happy with it because I've never heard about any issue with the Palaima handbag. It doesn't have cracks. Um, it may have little wear on corners and the canvas can be chipped off, but it never, uh, never turns into something bigger than that. The only one issue you can face with this bag is the uh, strap glazing. Because sometimes it, it's off and you have to go to uh, Louis Vuitton to replace it or to make them reglaze it for you. However, with the new um, policy that you have to have a receipt, then I'm not sure it's always possible with a pre-loved handbag. However, I would definitely recommend buying this bag pre-loved and as far as I know, it's discontinued? Not sure. No, forget what I said. It's, this bag is not discontinued. You can still buy uh, Pola MM in store. So it's up to you either to spend over 2,500 at, at the store or you can find this handbag for uh, cheap and uh, well, cheaper at least. At Bagaholic, we are selling this Pala MM for 1,400. However, you can always find this bag a little less expensive. A great thing about this bag is that it has uh, external compartments, some external pockets here, and you don't have to open the bag every time, unzip the bag every time you need to take something out. You just put it into these large, very, very large pockets. That's what I've been looking for for a really long time. And well, that's still one of my favorite handbags from Louis Vuitton. Moving next, here's one of the most beautiful and most popular Louis Vuitton canvas handbags at the moment. It's an Iena PM. And this handbag came out as a replacement for a Totally handbag. And uh, well, it's a pretty great replacement. For those who don't like Neverfull because it doesn't have a zipper, here's an alternative and the alternative is beautiful. It's also very spacious. Well, less spacious than it ever full, of course, just because of the opening. However, uh, if you're looking for something with a zipper, if you're looking for something in uh, Damier even, that may be a pretty good option. This bag is not discontinued, it's a newer style and you can still find it in store. However, you can find a pre-loved one for about uh, 1000 or pretty close to that. So if you're looking very closely, just uh, scan all the sources, scan fashion files, scan um, groups, Instagrams of trusted sellers, and you, I bet you can find this bag for less. Um, at Bagaholic, we are selling this beauty for um, $900. And uh, well, if you want it, then we may still have it at the time you're watching the video. Now, what about potential issues that you may have with this handbag? First thing you need to know, it's made of a newer type of canvas and newer types of canvas are not that durable as the previous ones. So you can definitely expect some wear on corners and the canvas is chipped off. Well, there, there can be some damage 
on canvas on the corners and well unfortunately it's quite normal and Louis Vuitton is not going to do anything about that as they don't repair the canvas so just be prepared be aware of this type of wear um, another another wear I've I've encountered I uh, came across on this bag is the the print rubbing and well it looks pretty strange well maybe it's it's some kind of a scratch but uh, however the print is rubbed and the uh, print rubbing is pretty common for a newer type of canvas it's a great bag right and I highly recommend it because it's beautiful it's comfortable and well it's made of damier even canvas however just be aware that you may face some kind of issues with canvas and uh, I'm not sure it's worth it. However, as a bag, well, maybe they will release it in a new type of canvas that's more durable. I don't know. Uh, I really expect that to happen. However, with this bag, just again, I said it already three times, but be aware of the problem with the uh, canvas. The reason I'm reviewing bags that have been discontinued mostly is that they're made of different type of canvas and you almost never go wrong with uh, picking up older canvas over newer ones because it has less issues and um, well you will be more happy with a handbag that doesn't have canvas issues now we've reached the most exciting moment and i'm so excited to present you the best Louis Vuitton shoulder bag in my opinion and that's a retiro new model and for those of you who are surprised because i said i don't like Vachetta Here's another version of, the, of a beautiful Retiro new model in leather. Um, I had this bag for a while and uh, well, uh, yeah, I'm a fan of canvas uh, with red accents. And uh, I've had this bag for a while and I can tell you that's the most comfortable um, shoulder bag I've ever had. I guess you can adjust this strap to make it a crossbody bag and you can make it a shoulder bag and the, the uh, handles are pretty comfortable well the most comfortable handles i've ever had on anything because key pole and speedy handles they are too uh thick for me i don't know why i love to touch them but i don't love to wear them if that makes sense to wear the, the bag that has uh handles of this kind and with uh, the these handles are thinner and they are pretty much comfortable I also haven't heard about any issues with this Retiro new model or even the old model because there is also an old type of Retiro PM and I have a video here, um, video comparison so you can watch it if you're interested. That's the one of the best handbags I've ever had. It's medium size, it's pretty stylish, it keeps the shape so you don't need, don't need any type of organizers or anything inside. You don't need to keep it stuffed. Uh, well, unless you store it, of course. Um, it doesn't have canvas cracks. It will have, well, if you prefer the leather, I guess, colored leather uh, bag, it will have some rubs on canvas, but uh, it's pretty easy to fix them. And I also have a video where I'm fixing the uh, initials on the clochette. I just managed to remove them. I guess it's very um, useful information when it comes to colored leather handbag. Why? Because actually, Louis Vuitton is not going to do anything about it. Well, you can ask them to replace the piping when it gets scratched here. It will cost you pretty much and I'm, I'm not sure that you need to do that. Well, at least I, I just paint the corners here and uh, the bag still looks beautiful, still looks like new and uh, well, just one of my favorite handbags. I highly recommend it, especially if we have pretty much the same taste and you feel like you need a handbag for every day for for the office and for all the occasions you'll easily integrate it into your outfit and i assure you that will become one of your most favorite handbags from louis vuitton all right guys i hope that was useful and if it was like the video subscribe to the channel and i would love to hear from you What's your top five Louis Vuitton shoulder bags that you love, that you wear, that you had? I would love to hear your favorite shoulder bags from Louis Vuitton. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week. Bye.